Hello, YouTubers. I'm Anthony Ortiz, and I'm going to read chapters 9 and 20 from, from the Pixar Cars in 2006, the junior novelization. I hope you like this video. Goodbye. Uh, uh, enjoy. Chapter 19. Okay, here we go. McQueen said to himself as he sat idling in the darkness of the trailer. It was the day of the Piston Cup Championship, and McQueen was working hard to find his own. Focus, he commanded himself. Speed. I am speed. Across the country, eh, the cars had closed up their shops and headed to the closest television set to, wa set to watch the race of the century. Entry. Bob, there's a crowd of nearly 300,000 cars here at the Los Angeles Speedway, Daryl said as he and Bob sat in the announcer's booth. Tickets to this race are hotter than a black litter seat on a hot summer day. Chick was feeling smug as he basked in the limelight. He was surrounded by impressive photographers soaking up all the attention. Come on, Chick, let's see the crowd, cloud, begged the reporters. Flash the thunder, baby. Oh, yeah, you want to know the forecast? Uh, forecast? Chick Bragg. I'll give you the forecast. 100%? 100% of chance of thunder! Kachiga! Kachiga! Say it with me! McQueen, meanwhile, meanwhile, McQueen stayed in his trailer, ignoring the chaos outside. He revved his engine. Victory. He muttered quickly as he pictured himself flying down the track of had a chick and a king. Two losers. Speed. 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 McQueen remembered the drive with Sally and the view of Radiator Springs from the spot near the wee well. Oh my gosh, that was gorgeous. McQueen thought. He smiled a little, picturing the townsfolk. I never even said goodbye to Radiator. He thought regretfully. Hey, lightning! Mac bang. And Mac called as he banged on the trailer door. You ready? McQueen's eyes snapped over. Open. What? What? What am I doing? Hey, he thought. I don't have time to daydream. I have a race to win. Yeah, 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 he said, giving himself a good shake. I'm ready. He rolled out of his trailer and faced the enormous crowd of fans. They let out a deafening cheer, and McQueen squinted as a thousand cameras flashed in, and in his face. Thanks for being my pick for today, Mac McQueen. I mean McQueen Santa Mac, who was parked beside a big cast can. Least I could do, Mac replied. Out on the track, a group of color-coded cars drove in formation, spelling out the words, "Piston Cup." Up. 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 In the announcer's booth, Bob explained that this would be the last race for strip raid winners, the king. You know, you, you know, Chick Hicks ain't gonna let that king drive. He can drive away with it today. Daryl added, he's gonna pull out all the stops to win this one. And there it is, Bob said as the stadium mother of their flash an image of McQueen pulling up to the starting line. Lightning McQueen, missing all week, and then he turns up in the middle of nowhere, in a little town called Radiator Springs. Where white wall tires. <laughs> There's Daryl Adam with the chuckle. Of all things, Chick pulled up next to McQueen and flashed his shiny thunder club. Kachiga, Kachiga, Kachiga. He laughed unroarously. Hey, where you been, McQueen? Yeah. I'd be kind of lonely. Nobody to hang out with. I'm in. Except the Dinoco folks. Chick babbled on. But McQueen was having a hard time paying attention to him. him. His mind was wandering. He was back on the mountain with Sally. Gee, she looked pretty that day. McQueen thought as he pictured the beautiful Porsche in front of the waterfall. Just then, and the green flag dropped. Chick and the king were off like were off like bullets. Ah! Oh, McQueen cried as he snapped out of his daydream. Shoot! 
He took off after them, chasing their bumpers. Two laps later, all three cars were battling for first place. Oh! Chick, sla Chick slammed the door on him. And Daryl announced as Chick moved in to cut off McQueen. With a sudden burst of speed, he'd Chick let the, left the rookie in his dust. Chick's not making it easy on him today, Bob said. It was true. Although he, he wanted more than ever to win, McQueen was, McQueen was having trouble focusing on the race. His mind kept wandering. Like right then, he was picturing himself on the drive up the mountain with Sally again. Remember how he splashed him and... That's it, and oh, wow! McQueen jerked himself out of his... Out of his memory, just in time to swerve away from the concrete wall. But he cut too hard and spun deep in the infield. infield. The crowd gasped. Chick ran. Just me and the old man, fellas. He told his pit crew over the radio. McQueen doesn't have it. McQueen doesn't have it today. Chapter 20. McQueen idled on the infield. On the in Idled in the infield, field dazed. He could hear the king and chick speeding around the track, but they seemed far away. Kid, are you all right? Mac asked over the radio. Queen gave himself a shake. He tried to clear his head. He knew that he was losing time. He never catch up to the other cars now. Ah, uh, Mac, I don't think, I don't think. Suddenly, a different and familiar voice growled over the radio. I didn't come to all this way to see you quit. McQueen gasped. Doc? The rookie peered up the pit road where a crowd of folks were waving. Almost everyone was there. Ramon, Flo, Luigi, Guido, Fillmore, Sarge, even Mater. Guys, McQueen cried happily. You're here. You're here. Hey, it was Doc's idea, man. Uh, Ramon said. McQueen looked at the crew chief platform. Doc was there, painting up as the fabulous Hudson Hornet. He looked glorious. I knew you needed a crew chief, Doc rumbled, but I didn't know it was this bad. Head. Doc, look at you, McQueen said in awe. I thought you said you'd never come back. Well, I really didn't have a choice, Doc replied. Mater didn't, Mater didn't get to say goodbye. Goodbye! Vader hollered. He looked at Doc. Okay, I'm good. McQueen laughed. Uff. Uff. All right, Doc said, getting down to a business. To business. If you can drive as good as you can fix the road. Okay, fix the road. Oh, then you can win this race with your eyes shut. Now get back out there. In an instant... And McQueen tore onto the track. Suddenly, he felt he had the focus of a laser beam. The team from Radiator Springs let out a cheer as he ripped up the asphalt, gaining on Chick and the King. We are back in business, as Doc shouted. Guido, Luigi, you going up against professional pit crews, boys? Boys, you're going to have to be fast. Do. Uh, fast. They will not know what hit them, Luigi. He promised. Pro Luigi promised. Kid, you can. Kid, 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 you can beat these guys. Doc said over his headset. And find the groove that works for you and get those laps back. Meanwhile, the monitor showed McQueen's new crew. Dude, the previous McQueen's got himself a pit crew. Bob said as the camera zoomed in on Doc, and look who he has for a crew chief. The crowd recognized Doc and began to cheer, welcoming him back. Bob looked down at Pit Row and the Mason and his men. Wow, this is this is history in the making. Nobody, nobody has seen this racing legend in over fifty years. But history was happening on the track too, as McQueen whirled whipped past Chicken the King. McQueen's coming up past. Yes. He goes three wide and passes them on the inside, Bob announced excitedly. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. What? 
chick was shocked as McQueen slid past, making up the first of his two lost laps. Back in Radiator Springs, Sally, Lizzie, and Red watched McQueen on television. Come on, you got it, stickers? Sally exclaimed. Making up his second lap, McQueen closed it on, Chick and the King again. Oh, Chick muttered. Oh, Chick muttered. Cat's just trying to be a hero, huh? With a sudden jerk, Chick knocked McQueen as he started to pass. Well, what do you think of this? He sneered as McQueen spun around the track until he was facing back. But McQueen didn't slow down. He bolted right past Chick. Chick in reverse. Whoa! Made a whip from the pit crew. Ah, John and that. Good job. What a move! What a move! What a move by McQueen. Oh, by McQueen. Bob cried as he looked down on the race from the booth. He caught up, He's caught up to the leaders. A three-way battle for the lead with ten to go. Daryl continued. Okay, guys. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. And, and subscribe. Bye.